How's it going everyone? Today taking a quick look at the Square Enix Play Arts Kai Final Fantasy VII Remake Barrett Wallace figure. He's number two in the lineup, number one being Cloud Strife, which I've already taken a look at. If you haven't checked that out, please do so. But Barrett here, I got mixed feelings um, for. He's got some good stuff, but he's also got some some other, just some some things that I just don't like. But before we get into that, Let's take a look at the box. Now, the box is the same style that we got with Cloud. Picture of the figure on the front. You got the 30th anniversary sticker down here. The Play Arts Kai Square Enix authenticity sticker down there. You got the logo up top. And then it's your typical window um, flap open box where you get to see the figure on the one side. And on the other side, you get a nice kind of read up bio of Barrett, which we'll try and um, showcase here. There we go. And then on the back, some more pictures of Barrett in different uh, poses. And then on the bottom, you got the machine stamp for authenticity also. Okay. Bring the figure back in. Now, I will say this. Square did a great job as far as the scope of this figure, um, of the character. He looks great. You got some scars you know, as you see on the cheek there, um, the paint looks good. It's not sloppy. You got dry brushing, you got um, shading, you got a lot of good stuff as far as the overall look. It's just, when it comes down to some of the mechanics of articulation and accessories is where this thing fails. But let's go over the, the accessories first off. Now he does come with the Play Arts Kai stand which is typical for all the newer um, releases. He does come packaged um, in the box with a fist hand, which is this right here. And you can take a look at the detail. It's got some nice, you know, paint app on it, on it with like, on the glove with the, um, the armor bits and such. And then he also comes with a more open, relaxed hand, which has the same detail. And then his other accessory is his sunglasses. In the packaging, he comes with them on. You can't remove them, but I do like them as far as the functionality of them. I mean, you can see his eyes, which is cool. They're not just a painted black um, pair of sunglasses. You can't remove them. They just plug into the back of his ear. And take a closer look at them. Come on, camera. Focus for me. There you go. So not bad. Unfortunately, though, it does leave a hole in the back of his ear. But once you have them posed, if you don't want them on, uh, you don't really see them too much until you start moving to the side. But let's take a look at his head sculpt. Again, really nice job. You can see the scars on his cheek and such. And if you want, you can pop them up or whatever. All right. Okay. But that is it. That's all the accessories he comes with, which is really a fail in my eyes. If you've played the game, at least the original Final Fantasy VII, because the remake hasn't come out and won't be out until the end of this year, I believe, 2018. He does have upgrades for his machine gun arm here, and it would have been cool if we would have gotten that as an accessory, some an extra accessory piece. Um, I get the fact that you know you're only going to have so many pairs of hands that you can use and such, but it's kind of just a fail that that's all you got and at the price point which I'll talk more about in my final thoughts but let's go over some of the look take a closer look at his jacket really nice again texturing um, the tat unfortunately once you start you know rotating his arm around with the articulation the at the bicep it kind of breaks it up a little bit but it's still not too bad you can't, re you, 
you technically could remove the jacket, but um, you're not supposed to because he's got nothing there. It's kind of like Liquid Snake. You just get to see a lot of the innards. It's not, this isn't a solid chess piece, unfortunately. It would have been cool if they would have done that, gone the extra mile. Uh, but nope. Uh, you get this nice detailed piece or his chest here as far as it being sculpted in um, kind of chest hair, which I thought was interesting. And then the dog tags are part of the scope also. Would have been maybe nice to have actual real dog tags like they did with some of the Metal Gear Solid stuff, but um, it, it's okay. As far as the, the ball ratchets, I do like the fact that the shading kind of matches with the rest of the skin tone, unlike Cloud, so that's nice. And again, the gauntlets and such look good. Pants look good to the pouches, to the um, kind of the rippled kind of effect that they're trying to create with the, um, or the wrinkles with the pants. The gun looks good. Got some dry brushing and such. And then again on the, the boots. All in all, it is a fantastic looking figure. Now, as far as articulation is concerned, this is another negative in my eyes. He's got the standard articulation that you would get with Player Sky and pretty much the same that we got with Cloud. So you got the Movement in the head, unfortunately, that's as far up as he can go. He can't really look up. You can manipulate the neck, but can't really do a lot. On top of that, the head sculpt looks good, but if you stare at him too much, it looks too small. Um, he just looks like he, his head got shrunk. So I try, I try not to look at him too much. <laughs> I don't know. It, maybe it's just me, but he does look like he's got a small head, especially if you look at the his neck. I mean, I know he's a big dude, but still. Um, so you got the double ball peg on the from the neck to the head, which you can you know you can manipulate his his head around. Good enough. It's a little tight, but you can get it. Um, the neck itself is on also a ball peg. You also have chest which is on a ball peg there is no ratchet like we got with cloud so you can move side to side kind of can lean them can't really go too far forward it's about as far as you can go can't go too far back well you can actually you could and it doesn't really give you that big gap that sometimes we get with the um, player sky stuff now the the waist articulation is kind of hindered because of the fact that you're up against the floating crotch piece here. You could kind of manipulate it to tuck in, but that's as far down you can kind of go. He's not really going to be doing some ab crunches, unfortunately, but it's still there. As far as his arms are concerned, you can see right there the ball ratchet goes right into the chest. You don't have your typical butterfly. It's just going to swing on that hinge. And this is a soft enough plastic so you can come across. So it's a lot better than um, cloud. So if you want, you could probably manipulate to the point that he could hold his gun. You got the bicep swivel. You got the standard ball. Uh, ratcheted joints for the elbow, wrist, and ankles, and they, you know, you can swivel them on the top or bottom, and then you can rotate within a little bit on that hinge at the shoulder. Elbows got a little bit more of a 90 degree. Looks broken up though when you do with that gap, so that's kind of unfortunate. The wrist is the same. On this side, you do have the same bicep swivel. You have the same ball ratcheted joint for the elbow. Again, it kind of breaks it up, which is kind of odd. And the coloring that they did 
for this ratchet is a little bit off. They did a good job matching it over here with the skin tone, but over here they didn't really match it with this piece, I think. I mean, just a gray. I mean, it works, but and that's just my opinion. As far as the leg articulation, he doesn't pretty much have anything. He does have what you expect from a player sky, but you can't really manipulate him that much because of the pouches and just the sheer bulk of him. This floating crotch piece really doesn't do anything. Um, you can manipulate it a little bit, but going forward, that's about... You could force it, but that's about it. I mean, because they did cut it here. If you can kind of see that. So you can get a little bit more range of motion, but you're still hindered. Going to the side, you can't go to the side on this one because this pouch, um, you can't really do anything with it. Um, that's as far to the one side you can go with that leg. Back, that's about as far as you can go because then you're hindered by the, the butt piece here. Or, you know, the whole floating crotch piece. No thigh swivel. Double jointed knees. Really stiff, but they do work. They don't look too bad. And then again, like I said, the ball ratcheting um, ankle joint, which you can maneuver to get the ankle rocker. And then he's got a toe hinge, which that's all you get. So there it is. And then it's right up against this buckle, so I guess you could push it a little more, but that's all you got. I mean, he's not the most agile guy, but, um, and he at least he has the typical, you know, standard play arts guy articulation. You just can't utilize a lot of it, unfortunately. The stand also, he's one of these guys that's too big for the stand. The um, clamp does not go around him that well, so it doesn't really work. Uh, but he does stand on his own, and you can get him into some poses. He does stand roughly, I believe, 10 and a half inches tall. And some quick comparisons. Here he is next to Cloud. You see them next to each other. Yeah, stand. You're not going to stand there, you? And then, nope, he didn't want to stand. I just love it. Stand for me. Okay, I think he's going to stand. And then up against another bulkier guy. Here he is next to Marcus Phoenix, which he's actually quite bigger than. And this guy's heavy. So, all right. So there's that. All in all, he looks really good, but, um, and I'm going off of the Square Enix store pricing, he's $150. He is not worth $150 at all. He only comes with two accessory pieces, the sunglasses and an extra hand. Nothing for the machine gun arm. It just seems ridiculous that they did that um this being final fantasy you would think that square Enix would have put more love into the line the sculpt they did as far as accessories and such no i mean if you're looking at the cloud the sephiroth those are both 150 dollars. also with this guy I, I just don't see it so i don't really recommend them unless you are collecting the Final Fantasy VII remakes, which I don't even know who we're getting next. I think it might be Valentine. I'm not sure, but um, you may just pass on this guy. I was lucky enough to get him for a, a decent price. And if you can get him for a decent, cheaper price, then by all means, I would probably pick him up. But I wouldn't pay, I would, I would wait for this guy to go on sale or clearance. So that's it for Barrett here from the Player It's Kai remake Final Fantasy VII line. Um, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it again. Like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I do appreciate that also. And um, I will uh, be back with more, I guess. So um, thanks again.